Jelly Roll Halfway to Hell on B105, Northland's number one for New Country. Good morning. It's Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. Tuesday, July 2nd. We're mm-hmm. almost there to the holiday weekend. I know. But sometimes that's like, th- those are the weeks that are a little bit more of a struggle, but that's okay. Well, this week is B105, Northland's number one for New Country. And we've got the B105 Buzz brought to you by East Central Energy, member owned, homegrown, community focused since 1936. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to start if you don't mind. Okay. Um, this is kind of near and dear to me. Montana Cafe and Cook. Um, they got flooded. I mean, downtown Cook got flooded. Mm-hmm. I have friends up there. They've had, it's it's really rough shape. But over 100 years, this restaurant's been around, the Montana Cafe, and they're in danger of shutting their doors now after flood waters uh, ravaged it on June 18th. They had 12 inches of standing water through the entire cafe. Some of the inventory and equipment were able to be saved. Most of it has to be an abandoned. And um, it's going to be pretty rough. So the insurance policy won't pay for the damage. So community members put uh, together a GoFundMe donation. And uh, there's some people helping out. And you can read more about that right now. WDI has got a link up there. And I'm going to get a link up later on this morning. Yeah. So see if we can help them out there. Definitely a worthy cause. Yeah. Well, you know, there's lots of study these studies these days. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. But Duluth was just named by Lawn Starter um, the second cleanest city in America. Where did they find, figure that? So they looked at like the 300 or so biggest cities in the country. So there might be cleaner cities that are just smaller, but they looked at like air pollution, living conditions, things like that. And Duluth came in second to the top, only beat out by Lynchburg, Virginia. Mm. Which is interesting. So interesting. Well, I'm sure people will have a lot to say about that, but I'm just saying what the study is. Let's go to the Facebook comments. Or don't. Or don't. People get pressed about some interesting <laughs> things. So anyways, um, yeah, read more about that. B105country.com. Okay. What was it? The one I, th- I think I said something about Duluth was one of the best travel sites. And then and then people just roasted that. Yeah. And then I said a store is closing in the mall and people were like, oh, it's so stupid. This. I'm like, what is, why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? It's the internet. Yeah. Everybody's Let's just favorite. think twice before you type stuff, you know? I like that. That's, that's a campaign for... Yeah. Yes. Think twice, twice before you type. Please. That's your B105 Buzz. B105, Northland's number one for new country and Lauren's country lowdown. I, I, I'm obsessed with this. Miranda Lambert, she's back at it. She's calling people out. So I'm going to see her at Grand Casino Hinkley. If you are to take this into consideration because she is paying attention, so... We, we had Selfie Gate recently. Well, over the weekend, she was performing in Texas. She was singing Tin Man, which is a very moving song about her divorce to Blake Shelton. And she noticed that a cat fight broke out. <laughs> oh, so no. she stopped and she said, is somebody okay? Did somebody faint? Did someone pass out? Are you fighting? She realized what was going on. And she said, during this song, I will come down there. We're not doing that today. Very scary. And she said, I'm going to go Texas on you real quick. Um, And then she realized that these girls were fighting. And she says, it's always the girls. We get riled up and we start punching each other. So, jeez, I've never done that. But you don't want to make Miranda mad. So she asked the police to get them to leave. And if there's anything that we've learned in life, it's like, let's just not. Right. Yeah. So if you're going Grand Casino Hinkley, um, please don't. Boy. Have a fight break out. Although, I mean, Miranda would notice you, but that's not the way you Can't want to wait. Maybe that's the way you get her to notice you, Lauren. I am. Um, yeah, because I would do so well in a fight. <laughs> I don't know. I could see a... I could see <laughs> My a, words cut deep, but I'm oh not going to do gosh. violence. No, I've been told that. Okay. I really have. Anyways, Carrie Underwood, she is on various tour dates and whatnot right now, but she shared a fun carousel of photos. Her and her family went to... Hershey, Pennsylvania, Chocolate World, Hershey Park, I should say, in Pennsylvania. And she shared a bunch of photos. She doesn't really share photos of her kids, Mm -hmm. um, but she shared um, pictures of Isaiah and Jacob having fun. She also said, oh, we went to go make our own chocolate bars and all that. And you can see the photos, B105Country.com. I don't think that she is eating a lot of Hershey's bars because she is ripped, but I'll eat them. I just... (laughs) The other day I was at the cabin, I woke up the next morning and I saw wrappers of a Hershey chocolate bar. And I'm like, did I eat the kids' s'mores chocolate last night? And I was like, I'm pretty sure I did. No regrets. <laughs> no I remember to pick regrets. up some more of those. Which, right. yeah. yeah. So last but not least, Keith Urban's oldest daughter um, is making everybody talk because she looks exactly like Nicole Kidman. Mm-hmm. 
obviously it's, you know, he and Nicole Kidman's daughter, but um, she made a rare appearance at a fashion show in Paris just late last week. And yeah, she looks exactly like Nicole Kidman. So she wants to be a model? I don't think so. Um, they just went to like a fashion show. Oh, and so she so, wasn't in the no, fashion No, she wasn't. Show. Okay. She just was Nicole's date. So Sunday Rose, wow. um, it's like crazy. It's like a spitting image. So check that out, B105Country.com. Some people get all the jeans, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> B105 Breakfast Club, Kenneth Warren, 710 Laugh Laugh. Here we go. Mm-hmm. You ready to go? Yeah, so I won last time we did this, and I am going to go first. Go right ahead. Ken, I'm thinking of investing in boomerangs. High rate of return. Classic boomerang joke, you know. I'm they... just getting started. Okay. The first it's joke of the week. It's a good warm up. Right. Right. Lauren, I went on a date. She said, I like your personality. And I said, thanks, I have six more. That's a classic personality joke. Okay. My opinion. Didn't know there was a... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ken, there's a fine line between a numerator and a denominator. Only a fraction of people will get that. Might be too divisive. Ooh, nice little add-on to the end there. Hold the Ken. Yeah. Got to squeak another joke in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's something timely. Why do hurricanes always have female names? Because if they had male names, they'd be called hemicanes. Actually, I think, don't they always have male names? Mm, no. I don't know. Whatever. I'm thinking of, like, Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Sandy. Yeah, I'm thinking of Hurricane Hugo, oh. Hurricane Andrew. I don't know. I guess I'm thinking I guess about both. that. both. Okay. You're the weather person. A long time ago. <laughs> Oh, man. Ken, we had meatball-sized hail last night. My car is al dented. <laughs> so dumb. That's really dumb. <laughs> the way you stumbled on it. I know, and I was practicing in my head, and then I was like... <laughs> I think that's what I laughed at. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, a laugh's a laugh. Thank you. Al dente Yeah, nice. Well, anyway, there you go. That's your 710 laugh Congrats off. Congrats to me. Thank uh, you. Congratulations, Lauren. 711 B105. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren. Good morning, 720. Today, uh, yeah, we got a wet start to the day, but it'll be clearing up eventually. Mm-hmm. So that'll be that'll be good. And uh, we'll begin to high about 72 or so. So if you get to bring these a question today, your chance to win some uh, Papa Murphy. Yep, yesterday's quick. 28% of men have one of these, but barely use it. And the answer was a suit. Yeah. So I had to give a lot of hints, but that's okay. This morning, 74% of people will be purchasing this or already have for the upcoming holiday weekend. What is it? Okay, 74% of people purchasing this for the upcoming holiday. It's not fireworks, but it's something that goes with the whole vibe of the holiday. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, got to get this for sure. Okay. 727-B105. Call now. Good luck. You win this Papa Murphy's Pizza Prize Pack. Mm -hmm. You could also... Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh. Careful now. Almost gave it away. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren. Okay, got your brain teaser question. Has to do with the holiday weekend coming up. Mm-hmm. 74% of people will be purchasing this for the upcoming holiday weekend. What is it? Okay. Let's see what we got here. Let's uh, take some guesses. 74% of people purchasing what for this weekend? Uh, B105, what's your guess? Uh, is it bug spray? Oh, good guess. That's a really good guess. Not bug spray, though. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Hi, B105, you have a guess? Yes, is it hot dogs? Um, you know what? That's good. It's for barbecuing, it's for food, so anything grilling related, yeah. There you go. Uh, Who's this? This is Owen. Hey, Owen, congratulations. We got you some pizza, okay, from Papa Murphy's. (laughs) Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Yeah, hot dogs always a must to have, Mm -hmm. you know. I think, I don't know what we're going to do. I feel like you're going to smoke some meat. Um, if I, I know some you at all. Chicken on the Traeger yesterday. Mm. It turned out pretty good. Someone gave my fiance a smoker. Oh, really? Yeah. Is he going to smoke fish in it? Maybe. Sometimes but like he can say, do meat now, you know. Sometimes they say you shouldn't, you shouldn't, some people say you shouldn't use a smoker for, you should have your separate smoker if you're going to smoke fish. Because it smells weird? Yeah, well, because it can take, yeah. Mm. I don't know his plans because, you, you know, that's not really my area of expertise. Smoking so. meat's not your thing? I don't really think so, no. No, probably well, not. Let me know how it goes. All you need is a taste test. Let me know. I'll okay. be around. All right. <laughs> Just inviting myself over. 
726 B105, your weather forecast coming up next. And Ken's Weird News, 740. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What are we talking about? You know, I got a couple things I'm trying to get to the bottom right here. And I might find the answer here in the next few minutes. Okay. Okay. Talk about them all. I don't know. I didn't go any further. Okay. B105, 727. Okay. Ken's Weird News, Tuesdays, 740. I wait all week for this. Some people, well, glad you do. <laughs> Okay. Many people do, Ken. Here's what's going on. Um, you know, we just had the presidential debate last week. That's weird news in itself enough, that whole thing. But anyway, there's been a movement, a social media campaign called Hashtag Disclosure Debate is pushing moderators of presidential debates to ask about UFOs and UAPs. Because why aren't they talking about it? I mean, it's been a big deal in Washington, right? Maybe Where do people the candidates... just want to pretend it's not happening. No, I, I, I agree with that. I mean... Stranger things have happened, you know, like they were talking about golf for crying out loud. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think this is even a little more important than that. What's going on? A little bit. A so little former bit. President Trump was on uh, Logan Paul's podcast. I don't know that. I guess I don't follow him, but I guess a the lot Paul of people... brothers, I feel like, are a little, they're interesting. A sign of the apocalypse, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, the uh, former President Trump was asked... Um, if you know about this, and uh, and he basically, he says, I have files, I've talked to people. He said that he talked to, uh, Trump said, this is a quote, this is from this is from Fox News, this is the quote, I met with pilots who looked like beautiful Tom Cruise, but taller. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Handsome, perfect people. And I looked at these guys, and they really mean it. And he so says, are you saying aliens or UFOs are handsome? No, he's talking about the pilots that have seen them. Oh, okay. And he says, you know, but you don't have access to information. And then Trump says, I have access. I speak with people about it. I have actual meetings on it. And I tell you, there's something going on. People that are really smart, really solid. They said they believe there's something out there. That, I feel like the pilot part, like he didn't need to put that in. The beautiful people, <laughs> yeah. perfect people. Yeah, well, like, you know. I don't know. I don't know what that has to do with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's hard to discredit the fact that a lot of people have seen a lot of things. Right. So there's a social media campaign. So the next uh, debate coming up on September 10th. Well, what's going to happen at that one? I mean, oof. Yeah. something else. But anyway, uh, that's uh, it could be on the table. That could be one of the questions from Mario. That's so yeah. weird. Well, that's just I so mean, weird. They're talking about who can hit the ball further golfing. I yeah, mean, I'd might as well talk about, about this. But this it's just a weird important. time to be alive that we're even talking about it in a national way. I know. Wild. So. I was going to talk about quantum mechanics, but I figured I'm going to put that shelf that, that till is, later. My brain can't do that. I right have now. a hard time with that too, but there was a really interesting thing I read the other day on that, but that'll be another Ken's well, I'm glad Weird I'm news. not the only one. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Lawrence Country Lowdown on B105. Okay, what's happening? Okay, so this could have been my angel today, but I just didn't want to wait to talk about it because I'm obsessed. So Jelly Roll, he's always doing like amazing things for everybody, right? And he has a good message. So he was doing a show in downtown Nashville recently. He spotted a young woman in the crowd and she held up a sign that said, please pay my tuition. Wow, that's just kind of bold. Yeah, so I was <laughs> like, okay, this is a little bold. I don't know about that. But then when you learn more about her and whatnot, you kind of understand why she did it. So um, first and foremost, Jelly Roll spotted the sign and he said, we're going to talk about what college you go to, what your GPA is. And if you have a high GPA and you're serious about finishing school, you don't just want me to like, you know, pay your tuition. I will pay your tuition. Like he offered. He's like, if you're wow. serious about it, I will, but we're going to look into this. He said, I didn't have anyone to pay for my college, so I didn't go. Um, and so he learned more about her and he is going ahead with it. She is um, a first generation Egyptian immigrant. She grew up in Tennessee and she said that Jelly Roll has really changed her life over the past few years. Um, he inspired her to get sober. So at the night of his concert, she'd been sober for nearly two years. Um, and he also encouraged her to go to school to become a criminal justice lawyer. That's what she's studying in Nashville. Okay. So at first I'm like, why is she asking him to pay the tuition? But she said she just decided to, you know, just do it last minute and it paid off. So, well, that's God's a nice guy. I mean, yeah. at some point they'll mm -hmm. be more going to start taking advantage of that. Yeah. I think, right? Yeah. I mean, you can read more about her story. B105country.com kind of like, She's gone through a lot over, you know, the past decade or so, and it's mm -hmm. very moving. So she also has a GPA of 3.8. So 
He's like, I'll go ahead with it. But I just thought that was sweet. Yeah. Gotta was, love Jelly Roll. Yeah, who does That's, that's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive. Don't she goes to Belmont University, but Sheesh. can't go back now. Anyways, Lainey Wilson, <laughs> she opened for um, the Rolling Stones in Chicago over the weekend, and she was invited to sing on stage with them. And, you know, she could really be like any genre, I feel like, but she waltzed out after opening for them, and... You know, they were like, what song do you want to sing? She chose Dead Flowers. People are freaking out about it. They think it's a really good cover. And she was also on their uh, recent cover band or cover album, Stoned Cold Country. But she put her own spin on You Can't Always Get What You Want. So she chose a different song. It's kind of interesting that she'd be opening for Rolling Stones. They have like on select shows, a handful of country artists like the Warren Treaty uh, and like a few others. But I mean, that's a big endorsement. Oh, sure. yeah, a lot of pressure, too. Yeah, right? exactly. And uh, last but not least, Kevin Costner, his his new film, you know, Horizon opened yeah, yeah. up, the one that he caused all this drama with Yellowstone for, kind of flopped. Yeah. I didn't know it was four different movies. Well, the first one brought in $11 million. Yeah. The budget was $100 million Ooh. that he paid for himself. Ooh. So... If you like Kevin Costner, you should see it Ooh, and support. That's got to hurt. But, yeah, you can read more at B105Country.com. Yikes. Yeah. Everybody wanted to see him in Yellowstone. They didn't want to see him in this, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I feel well. like that just jumped the shark. Okay. But what's okay? You don't agree? No, I agree. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's, just, it's, it's too bad all that drama happened. And then he got mad at Gail. He got mad at Gail. You don't need to get mad at Gail King from CBS. Like, she's just asking you the things we want to know. Not, you say, it's not therapy, Gail. Something like that. kind of is, though. Oh, boy. Well, we'll see. Chris Young raised on country on B105. And, uh, you know, we were talking about mosquitoes a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. You know what I've been seeing at my house now is uh, army army worms. No. Mm-mm. We've had several of them now. Nope. Um, the most I've seen in a while. But, I mean. Nope. You don't like army worms either. I don't like worms. Yeah. Anything without legs like that gives me the creeps. I found like snakes, one. worms. I don't want to see. I found one on my uh, pants the other day. Put your phone away. I don't want to see. I took a video of it. No. Look at this guy. Look Ugh. at this guy. Look at this guy. I was. Look at that. Mm-mm, that's gross. <laughs> that's gross. I like zoomed in close with my iPhone camera. I've never seen that. That's, that's pretty clear, about. but no, I, I don't need to see that. Thank you. Oh, look out. There's armor. Luke Combs, Ain't No Love in Oklahoma, B105, Northland's number one for new country. It's Ken and Lauren. Mm. This is a bizarre story today. Um, Do you ever have a Hotmail account? I don't think so. I had a Hotmail account. That was my first account, but that was like 20 some years ago. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But Microsoft has told customers Russian criminals compromised its systems earlier this year. They made off with more emails than they first admitted they have stolen Hotmail. <laughs> Email since I okay, someone's got to tell no use this hotmail anymore. Yeah. What? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a threat what? to US national security though for sure, but really? Well, I might have had one. I don't remember. I still use my college email because I'm like, everything goes to that. So I'm like, okay. Right, it's funny. Sometimes you can get not that I've done this, but you know, college discounts. Well, yeah, if you, you use your .edu, mm-hmm. or what is it, .edu? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Interesting. But uh, there's also some car dealerships that have been um, hacked by China as well. It's the phishing stuff. And That's not good. Whatever. But, you know, it's scary. So check your Hotmail email if you have it, if you still want But it. honestly, like, there's so much spam out there and, like, so much phishing and everything. It's like, what's one more oh. thing, you know? Right. It's looking on the bright side. <laughs> nice. Well, I mean, as Russian criminals, you got to be careful of cybersecurity. It's scary yeah. stuff. Coming up, Lauren's going to have a... Cody Johnson, Dirt Cheap on B105. It's Breakfast Globe with Ken and Lauren. And, uh, okay, we'll explain how this has to do with food. Okay, I don't know if this man is, like, an angel per se. Like, he's not saving the world. But this story just made me laugh and brought some lightness to my morning. Let's put it that way. An Iowa man is on a quest to visit all 220 pizza ranch locations in the country. I saw this. (laughs) This is the content we need. It's just good, harmless fun. Was he here at the mall? Yeah, so he was at the Miller Hill Mall location on Friday. And so his name is Jason. Like I said, he's from Iowa. And there's 14 different states with pizza ranch locations. He stopped at the Miller Hill Mall Friday. That was his 165th pizza ranch. Well, he's over halfway there. Yeah, so he wants to get to all of them by the end of the year. Last year, he hit the 100 pizza ranch mark, um, and he does take a little break over the winter months because he road trips, but he says that 
He loves them all, brings them happiness. He is often asked, which one's your favorite? And he actually said all of them are different and all of them have their own unique flair. So I'm excited to see if he does this because this is like, like I said, this is what we need. It's not so serious. You know, it's just funny and you can learn more about him on Northern News Now. But It's kind of weird. I mean, Pizza Ranch, okay. I mean, really, that, that and they're different. I mean. He likes uh, Pizza Ranch. Good for him, I guess. Yeah, we, don't, really, weird, we don't need to hate on that. I'm not hating on it, but I mean, I mean, come on. It's a little, it's a little bizarre. I think that whatever makes people happy, they That's should true. do. Okay. As long as it's legal. This so. proves there's nothing to do in Iowa. Any reason to get out there's of Iowa. There's probably not that much to do in Iowa, to I know be there's not. Yeah. I, I, so, you know, good for him. He's making his own way. I've lived in Iowa for a while. Yeah, seems Oof. not, not the most fun. I'll tell you what, Kevin Costner's not playing catch with Ray Liotta out there. That's not happening. That's Field of Dreams. Okay. I don't know if you've never seen that movie either, so. have you? You've never seen Field of Dreams? No. Oh, my God. And I have no plans to. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even try. Zach Brown Band right now. B105, Northland's number one for New Country. Handing it over to Joe Danger next. Commercial free continues. You have a great uh, Tuesday, Lauren. We'll see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Well, I'll see you down the hallway here. Yeah, we have things to do. Lots of things to do. I can't wait for Lauren.